Why did you even? Alright guys, we're out in the backwoods country here in St. Cloud, Florida. Right there south of us in Kissimmee. But I figured I'd go ahead and bring up a topic that hits me hard home right there. It is travel. I have traveled since I was a little kid. My family would take us all over the place, uh, anywhere from the north like Niagara Falls, all the way to the Midwest. We go to, of course, Disney, the Keys, all that fun stuff out there. And um, I just, you know, I absolutely loved it being able to travel. So, you know, I watched a lot of TVs. I was a TV show as a kid. See, check it out. We're in the, out in the sticks now, guys. Play paintball. That'd be a good area through there. Look at all this nice woods and stuff. If you're into any of that. Anyways, um, you know, we always travel a lot. And when, of course, when I got to college, I was a history major in college at the University of uh, West Florida there in Pensacola, in a little small town. And uh, one thing I always wanted to do when I was a little kid was travel more. I'd sit there and watch all the science shows. I'd watch, you know, uh, just travel TV channel, this, that, and the other. And I really, really wanted to see parts of the world. I got my first opportunity to travel overseas when I was, what was I? I was 19, almost 20. I, um, one of the guys that I was working with at UPS, I was up in Jacksonville, Florida. His girlfriend's family was military and they got moved over to Germany. And he said, hey bud, you wanna come with me and uh, come check out Germany with me. We're gonna go travel around Germany, Italy, you know, Austria, all that fun stuff. And uh, he said, all you gotta do is pay for your plane ticket and then, you know, I don't know, take him out to dinner or something like that, you know. At least uh, tip him basically for getting to stay at their house. And I'm like, hell yeah, that'd be badass. So my first trip ever was in the year 2000. I went out to we flew into uh, Munich, Germany out of Jacksonville, Florida. Anyways guys, what I was saying is when I uh, got over there back in the day before like Xbox was online, PS4 was online really or any of that kind of stuff, you know, you had an Xbox Live. I play heavy games on the PC. Well, one game I was playing back then, and yes, this has to do with traveling, was Delta Force. And I was playing Delta Force 2. Anyways, I met a ton of the German guys over there um, it was SIR is what they stand for, it is what the clan name was called, I forgot what it actually stands for, but I just know the initials were SIR for sir. And every one of them were named like uh, Galahad, this, that, Lancelot, all that stuff. And anyways, I really got in close to them and we played all the time together because of my uh, work schedule at UPS. I played nights, which was their daytime, and just went out there and had just a blast with them. Well, one of the things that happened was they said, well, if you're going to come to Germany, why don't you get on a train and come visit us up there in Cologne Bonn area? And uh, I'm always a little bit hesitant about it. You know, I don't know if you need to be going out there on your own in foreign country, this, that, and the other. Even though I was 19, right at 20 years old, you know, if I was in the army or in the, you know, navy or whatever, I could have been traveling all that time myself, anyways. Anyways, what happened is I said, you know what? Why not? So I, uh, they helped me out, figure out which train ticket I needed, this, that, and the other. And uh, from where we were at, I took a train out of, um, where was I at? Shit. It was just south of Munich, where the big army base is there. And uh, so anyways, I grabbed on the train. I think I had to change place trains. And I'm telling you right now, as a young man, I was scared because I, I've only ever been on a train one time in my life. If you, a lot of you guys that are overseas and stuff know, Trains aren't very popular here in the United States. Very, very rare. I mean, they have Amtrak, but I mean, nobody really takes Amtrak. Anyways, so anyways, we I took the train, and like I said, in America, we just don't have trains here. It's just, uh, I took Amtrak once when I was in South Florida to Orlando, and that was it. I mean, never been on a train before, and I was just like, yeah, this is going to be interesting, because everything, of course, is in German. I knew a few words here and there, but I didn't really know a lot of other stuff. Look how fast I'm going. All right, I'm doing 30 miles an hour. Oh yeah, I'm speeding. Anyways, uh, like I said, I was out there and uh, we took the train. I got up there, they all met me. My God, we they took us down to the Cologne Cathedral, which is the big, uh, everyone knows in Germany what it is. Uh, we went to all the museums. They got to play games together. They went down to the one people's basement, hooked up all the computers all across. They got to play games. It just had an absolute blast. Well, after that, uh, I went back down to uh, Munich where they were at 
because what happened is they were going to go on a, a road trip to Venice, so which was badass. We were going to go to Italy. So we got in the car and we drove all the way down through Austria, which is some of the most beautiful countryside I have ever seen in my life. And that is the honest to God's truth. Uh, I just, I'm like, whoa, if I could go back there and see that again, I would see it every day of the week. Uh, one day I'd like to own a second home that's out there in the country. And that would be it. Like I can see the, those type of giant mountains, whether it's like out in the West Coast or wherever, Montana and Wyoming or whatever. And we went to Venice for a day. Venice, it's cool. Venice stinks really bad. I mean, it literally stinks bad. But getting to see all that stuff where, you know, like the one church or whatever, was built before America was even uh, discovered. I mean, that kind of stuff is just mind-blowing, especially to somebody that's a history major. And uh, we stopped in Slovenia on the way back and got to see this castle that was built into the side of a mountain. That was pretty badass. What else did I get to see? Um, uh, what else did I see? I don't even remember at this point. There's a policeman. Just, uh, yeah, we got to see just crap loads of stuff down there. And, uh, and obviously loved it so much though that um when i decided uh the next year my friend said well hey why don't you come back to germany again we'll go to different places and i was like you know what that sounds like a pretty good idea i was young single i could do whatever i wanted to i made enough money to pay for my way over there and stuff like that so every year for the next six years i'd fly to germany and we got to travel all around germany from, uh, I stopped in, I stayed in Dresden, uh, been through Frankfurt. Where else do I want to be, say I've been to? Uh, where else have I been to? I know the train going through Nuremberg. We went to Poland, went to Czech Republic, went to Prague. Um, stopped in Amsterdam. Oh shoot, where else did I go? I've been to London. Um, let's see where I've been to Ireland. Funny thing about uh, uh, London is we were there when uh, the, the day that the United States first uh, uh, bombed Iraq back in 2003, I was actually in London. That was chaos. The whole other story about the, all the hippies out there on the sides of the road and stuff. It was just fucking crazy. Anyways, long story short, I know it's been a little long video, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, let you guys know that I wanted to let you tell you that you should travel as much as you possibly can while you're young and you have the ability to. Here's what's gonna happen. I see a lot of guys that don't do it. And then, you know, we go on a lot of cruises. Me and my wife have been at 16 uh, cruises out there on the ocean. I have a blast on those. But you see that we're some of the youngest people out there. And the reason why is because they all had kids young, couldn't afford it, couldn't take it with all the kids there. And now they're traveling in their 60s and 70s. Well, you can't get out there and explore the world when you're that. I mean, you can, but you can't. You're not gonna be walking, chunking through the mountains on the side pass, trails, that and other. It's just not as easy for you to get around it. So my speech today on topic is, go out there and travel while you're young. Have fun. Enjoy the world as it is. See as much of the world as you can. You get so much uh, experience, so much culture. You get to see how other cultures think about the way that uh, maybe you think as American or whatever country you're from. Thinks about it as one way. But in reality, you know, they might see it as a totally different way. And we used to have discussions and stuff all the time. And that's, there you go. That's one of the best reasons for you to go out there and travel. See everything while you can and while you're young. I know a lot of the viewers that uh, watch my channel are younger. And I just wanted to experience, uh, share what I got to do when I was young. And I uh, highly recommend that you go out there and do the exact same thing before it's just too late you know uh since i met my wife we've done 16 cruises we've been absolutely everywhere in the caribbean you could possibly go we've been to canada new england all the way up into canada and halifax nova scotia sydney nova scotia uh, all that crap seeing the bay of fundy that the water goes out we've been to alaska we're probably going to alaska again this year uh trying to go to hawaii this year travel everywhere you can because i know here in the next um couple years we're more than likely going to have some kids and that's really going to tie us down whether it's financially or uh, you just can't take little kids out to some of these places so that's part of the that's part of the thing but anyways guys i hope you like the topic um i really want to share some of my life experiences with you guys and uh let you say get out there and do it while you can i met a lot of my friends and they're like oh i wish i could do that 
Well, I asked him, I said, well, why don't you do that? Why are you still here and you're not doing that? And they always have every excuse in the book. I don't have time, this, that, and the other. But these are the guys and the girls that are out there in the bars every single night blowing $80, $90 a night buying drinks and stuff. I said, if you just held off for a month or so, you go on one of these badass cruises. I'm not saying don't drink. Maybe cut it down to one or two beers every night. Don't have to buy four or five shots. Don't have to buy all these other liquor things. Just go out there and save a little bit of money and go see the world that you were given to live in. So there you go. There's my little bit of a speech today. And I hope you guys really like the topic. Uh, I got to give a shout out, big shout out to Downshift who found my channel and actually uh, shared my video of that how when to upgrade to a 600 or when to just upgrade video the other day. Big thumbs up to you, sir. I've been on a lot of uh, motor vloggers things. I've subscribed to almost every, all the main big guys. I'm starting to find a lot of the smaller motor vloggers too. Give me a shout out. I'll subscribe to you. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and, you know, I always comment on people's videos. I try and talk to them and just get to know these people and uh, get to live through their eyes. And that's what I want to try and share is the things I got to experience so you can live through my eyes and maybe actually go out there and experience them yourself. Anyways, guys, I'll wrap up the video now. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe as always. I know the video is probably a little bit longer, but I thought, you know, I wanted to cover a lot of the topics I got to cover. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Had a nice little cloudy day here in St. Cloud, Florida, and I will hope to see you at the very next video. Take care, y'all.